Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Chef Maha from Maha's Lebanese Cuisine. Today we are going to make a special dish. I learned it from my mom, who learned it from her mom and from great grandma. So it's a very old dish. It's the shish barak with sumac instead of the yogurt. What we need for that, we need flour to make the dough. We need water, feta cheese, meat, walnuts, we need oil, we need cornstarch, rice, butter, and for sumac, salt, pepper, and one onion. And we need the oil to fry the, uh, the shish barak and to make the stuffing. So we wanna start with the dough. It's two cups of flour, one teaspoon salt, olive oil, about like one teaspoon, one tablespoon, sorry. Water, it will take about like half a cup or a little bit more, little bit less. It depends the flour that you are using. So I'm gonna mix this together, mix it together to have a very strong, nice dough. So when I mix it, I felt like it needs just a little bit more flour. I put one tablespoon. That's why when you put the water, put it little by little so you can manage. Now I'm gonna cut this to four pieces. I'm gonna let it rest. I'm gonna use this. My son-in-law got it for me for Christmas. And now we are going to start to make the stuffing for it. So I'm gonna put some oil, some butter. And you have to mix it very, very good. You want the meat to be very, very smooth. This is crushed walnut. I'm gonna put one cup. That's it. Um, now I'm gonna put the spices and keep like, if you see any big piece, just try to mash it. I'm gonna turn the fire off and I'm gonna add my spices. I'm gonna put salt, not too much. Always better to add than black pepper and some seven spices and you see i don't need any 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 fat or any juice any water in the bottom because when you make the shish barak you need it to be very dry we don't want them to open yeah that's it our stuffing is is ready let's switch i'm gonna put here some butter i'm gonna add the onion Okay, when you start see like the getting like little pink, just add the water because we don't want them pink. This is two cups of water. And here I have half a cup of rice. I don't want to wash it because I need the starch for the uh, sauce to be like little thick. Okay. And I'm gonna let them simmer until the rice is really cooked well. In that time, at that time, I will do the shish barak. I have this. This is, they call it like, it's for ravioli, but it's for shish barak maker too. So it's so easy, so simple to make it. You see how easy and how smooth the dough. That's it. So now we finish the first layer. I'm gonna put it here, but make sure to put flour around here. So the dough won't stick to the holes. Okay, just put it like that. And now you bring this, your rolling pan, and just go slowly around it. And now I'm gonna put the stuffing inside here. I'm using a, a teaspoon. I'm gonna go a little bit down so I can easily put the stuffing inside or you can go one by one you see try not to make any mess around the the dough because when we put the other layer on top we want it to close good i'm gonna put the fire in medium because we need it to be to simmer we need the rice to cook very well and i'm gonna add two more cups of uh, water because we need the sauce to be uh, a lot so the shish barak won't stick together. 
you should have a lot of juice. So we put the fire low. We don't want the rice to get burned or stick to the bottom of the tray, of the pot. So now I'm gonna let them cook in peace. <laughs> now I'm gonna put this aside and make the top layer. I'm gonna put this in top of this. And I'm gonna roll this in top. Take the outside dough. <laughs> Look. So now I'm gonna fry the uh, shish barak. I'm gonna put oil. Maybe one cup, a oh, little bit more, yeah. Some people they fry it, some people they bake it. It's up to you. For me, we get used to it, frying. It tastes better, it's, uh, you know, it's good. So, but it's up to you if you wanna bake it or fry it. See now if they are hot enough or not yet, yes. You don't want to put too much at a time. You need to leave room when you turn them around. So here we have the meat, it's cooked already. We just need the dough to get little pink, not too much. Another tip, like if you have a party and you wanna make uh, this dish uh, ahead, you can make the shish butter and just fry it and put it in the freezer. They will be good too. Okay, this is it. I'm gonna take them now. I don't want them too, too, too pink. Just a little bit. So I'm gonna put salt, pepper, and the star is the sumac. This is half a tablespoon. I put two tablespoons. Look, you see the rice? It's very, very cooked. Here, if you feel like the sauce is not enough, you add more water, but this is good. And you need a wide pot for this dish. You don't need the shish barak to get it get on top of each other so they will be soggy. I will let it cook with the uh, spices just like two more minutes and then I'm gonna add the shish barak and turn it off. I'm not gonna cook it with it and I'm gonna add the shish barak, put them away from each other. Just a small stir like that and I'm gonna cover them and leave them. This is our shish barak, our dish for today. Thank you for watching me and I will see you next week. Bye.